everyone, this is news for October of 2020. We have a lot of stuff to cover. As always, you can see from just the tabs alone just how much we have to cover for this, so we got to get through it. Let's start off with the Seekers Tarot. This just popped up. It just popped up out of nowhere. And it's coming out in October, so coming out soon. Here we go. Not a lot of images, pretty sparse on the images. So I went digging around on here, and uh, here's kind of a, a little bit of a little bit of a preview. The High Priestess with intuition, Eight of Fire, the Empress, etc. So looks kind of like the Tarot Z a little bit, a little bit. It's got a, a zombie. Uh, wild color look to it. Anyway, if you're interested in this, it's coming out in October for a whopping $35. Not really sure what's happening with that. I guess it comes with a nice book. I mean, I'm not really sure. It says this book will not teach anyone to be a tarot reader. Well, now, that's, that's good to know. That is good to know. So there you go. If you're interested in that, pre-order it today because it's coming out very soon. Now, the Magical Nordic Tarot. I dodged a bullet here. I dodged a bullet um, because it's getting some rough reviews. People are pointing out that um, the majors, yeah, a bit sparse on the major action, a bit sparse on the minor action here. Yeah, we have we have really sparse minor uh, minors. So yeah, not a lot of people are happy with the uh, the artwork on this. It looks a bit lazy. So uh, yeah, a lot of people are not pleased. I'm glad I did not back the magical Nordic tarot. If you would like to, apparently a lot of people did. It is you know 1895 and is available right now for you to pick up if you're so inclined. In October as well, we have the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. This looked good. This looked pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this. Minimalistic, I would say. Minimalistic indeed, but uh, it looks kind of cute, and it looks like you get a deluxe book with it too. Look at the space dedicated to the book. I mean, that's a lot of space, so that looks like a 300-page guidebook that's included with this. If you're interested, comes out in October, and it is a number one release in spiritualism. So if you're interested, go pick that up today. If you don't watch my stream, by the way, the Tarot of the Divine is $12 to $13, depending upon what day you get it, and it is number one in card games, and it's out of stock a lot. So, because it is an insane deal for that price, so if there's one thing you want to definitely sort of check out right now and get your uh, get your order in for it is the Tarot of the Tarot of the Divine Murder of Crows Limited Edition, October eighth. So this is going to be early October for this. Um, I'm, I'm not like super pleased with this. I saw Dr. Mystical's unboxing and flip through and, uh, and yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not a big fan. I got to say, I'm not a big fan, but if you are, it is going to put you back a whopping $38 and you can pick that up apparently on October 8th, assuming it's not delayed. Scorpio Sea Tarot also coming out October 8th is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It uh, It's not my style. I think the the drab colors kind of put me off a bit. Yeah, put me off a bit. I'm not a fan of the artwork. If you are though, that's coming out in October for uh, $31.99. So there you go. If you're interested in that, get your order out for that so you can pick that up. Pegasus Oracle is also coming out at the same time. Uh, again, I'm not really a fan, not a big fan, but if you are, I think that looks kind of cool, kind of cute. How many cards does that come with? Only 30 cards. Ouch. I'm at a point where if you're under 50 cards, I'm just going to close the window. I'm just going to close the window, especially for 24 bucks. Yeah, for 24 bucks, not a big fan. Um, Tarot Gold and Black Edition. Now, um, 
This is a whopping 40 bucks. Uh, if you're interested in this, they had a black and gold edition. Now they have a gold and black edition, obviously with gold stamping. I'm sure it is going to reflect in the light and look very pretty, very pretty indeed. But for this sort of a minimal gold stamping with a decent book with definitions, not really sure I'm too excited about this. But if you are, again, that's going to put you back 40 bucks. So prepare to drag out as much money as you have to get that if you're so inclined. Uh, let's see, where were we? We got so many, it's hard to figure it out. Sacred Mothers and Goddess, another 40 Oracle cards. This will put you back 25. And it has some interesting art. I mean, it's kind of cool. If you're interested in this, we have a 40 card oracle deck with this artwork and that is coming out october 8th again october 8th seems to be where everything is coming out october 6th though we have the movie tarot a hero's journey in 78 cards so this is kind of cute we have the king of swords not really sure are these from actual movies i think this is sort of a i don't know i don't know if these are from movies or what not really sure what the story is through that, but um, there you go. You know, if you're interested in this, that is sort of a unique style of artwork. I kind of think it's cute. Um, not something that I personally would pick up, but if you're interested in that, there you go. We have the movie Tarot. So get your order out for that. That's coming out early, October 6th. So let's look at this, the Dragon Wisdom. Uh, Dragon Wisdom, 20 bucks. It is 43 cards. So I'm pretty happy that they gave us some extra cards. That this is very pretty. Very, very pretty. It's got a lot of cards. It looks very nice. I like the coloring, the shading. Everything looks very nice on this. Looks very good indeed. I like what they did with it. It's sort of a unique style. It's got nice, vibrant colors, and the dragons look fantastic. They did a, a very good job with this. So Earth Dancer, an inner traditions imprint. Um, again, I like it that we have 43 cards and it's only 20 bucks. Really tempted to pick this up. I don't read with oracles a lot, but this is impressive what they did with this, especially for 20 bucks. Now, also coming out October 6th, we have the Steampunk Tarot. Now this is John and Caitlin Matthews, which have produced quite, quite a few tarot decks in their time. Quite a few tarot decks in their time. So kind of curious as to what this looks like. Do they have any extra cards or anything like that? This looks like it was released in 2013 and is being re-released we see a lot of this on amazon if you're interested in this if you didn't pick it up back in 2013 here are some of the cards i'm sure you can find a flip through somewhere on youtube but this is very attractive very attractive indeed um i guess a couple of complaints about the cards being thin but whatever uh, again, if you're interested, this is a re-release. John Matthews and Caitlin Matthews have have released a metric ton of tarot in their time. The Insight Tarot cards supposedly are coming out at the end of the month. These are kind of cute. I like the art style on these. I think it's very pretty. Um, I'm tempted to pick it up. The borders kind of put me off a bit but the book looks interesting the artwork looks intriguing i do think that they should have done some more with the miners the miners look a bit uninspired i mean again there's so much competition that you got to go you really sort of need to go over the top you need to really knock it out of the park if you're going to do a tarot deck at the, right now and I mean, if I had slim pickings and there was nothing out there, then no competition. But right now the competition is fierce and being lazy on the miners kind of puts me off, especially for 35 bucks. For 35 bucks, you should have illustrated those miners, man. 
that is that is a premium price and you're giving me just the the laziest miners possible i mean again you know if if the if the competition wasn't so fierce right now magic nordic tarot we already covered this this was just released speaking of uh, uninspired miners and i mean a lot of people don't mind if the miners are not illustrated that's fine i do i do especially for 35 bucks $31, we have the Dark Goddess Tarot. I already pre-ordered this, and I got to say, I'm pretty excited about it. I think, I think that this could be one of the cool, coolest decks of the year. Just my personal opinion, though. I love what they did with the theme. They got the theme, and they ran with it. You know what I mean? They got this Egyptian theme, and they just ran with it. And they made their own interpretations for some of the cars. I really think it looks pretty. Can't wait to get this. I already pre-ordered it. It's kind of on the high end at $31, but it is coming out at the end of October. Let's see where I'm at. Right here. Okay. We, we're back to Kipper. If you like Kipper, Tony has produced uh, the Card Geek's Guide to Kipper. She has another deck that she sold of her Kipper cards right here. And it looks like that we have another one. So we're into the realm of next year at this point. So we moved from October to next year. Um, we have a Kipper. Not really sure what it looks like, but if you're interested in the far, far future, uh, there you go. We're going to have a new Kipper deck from Tony. Again, Tony is the, uh, the definitive person to go for Kipper meanings and Kipper stuff. So if you're looking at that again in 2021, the Osset Gypsy Tarot, we've seen this before, but I'm pretty excited about it. Created by James and Jacob Pieri. James and Jacob Pieri, illustrated by Rebecca Stossenberg. I like this. I like this. Only one card to look at right now that's okay. I like it. I think it's going to be interesting to check out, definitely. Vlad, Vla, in Texas, as we say, Vlad, um, May 15th of next year, 26 bucks. What are we looking at? A bit of a black and white. That is okay. Um, you have sort of this grim, dark look at history here with lots of impalings of course was this the one that was on kickstarter is this the same one that was on kickstarter i'm kind of curious i'm kind of curious uh, travis it's from travis mchenry i think this was the one on kickstarter i do think so so it looks like that he made it to amazon congratulations congratulations travis you made it you made it in the big leagues to Amazon. Um, Eternal Seeker Oracle inspired by Tarot's Major Arcana. Not really sure what's happening here. Uh, okay, I have no artwork. It, kind of rough. It's You know, it's back in March. It's released in March. So if you're interested in that, check it out. The uh, Sacred Hags Oracle is also here. Kind of expensive at 35 for an Oracle deck from Danielle Dulski, illustrated by Janid Hausman. Again, not much, not much in the form of art. A lot of these, if you're going to post it, at least post a couple of pictures. At least post a couple of pictures. Luckily, it's 56 cards. 56, uh, according to them, gorgeously illustrated cards. If you're going to illustrate it, you might as well make it gorgeous, right? Same thing. March next year, tarot book and card deck includes a 78-card Marseille deck. I'm not sure what's happening here. Is this a... So, I guess this is a book, and they just threw in a standard Marseille deck? I'm not really sure what the hell's happening here, but okay. If you want to order it, okay. Shaman's Dream Oracle. Now, I like this artwork. I like the little preview that we got. It is from Colette Baron Reed, which produces nothing but amazing um, 
Oracle decks, and it's 64 cards. So, yeah, 64 cards. Coming out in February, that's not too far off. Actually, 64 cards, it's only 30 bucks. This looks like a pretty decent deal. Go pick that up if you're interested. Now, the beauty of horror, fear your future. This, uh, isn't this the, I'm not really sure what's happening here. It's a coloring set. I'm not really sure why it's in color now. Is this black and white and you have to color your own? A fully colored by iconic horror artist, Jay Photos. Cards feature a linen finish. A linen finish. I mean, I got to say, I like this artwork. There's another deck, I think, by the same person with the same type of artwork. But I'm kind of interested in this for sort of a Halloween feel. It is a uh, it is coming out in December. So if this is something you're interested in, check that out for December. It's only 20 bucks too. I'm tempted just to pick it up. I mean, I like that artwork. Now on to Kickstarter we go. On to Kickstarter we go. We're gonna we're gonna start out with the Fortune Queen. The Fortune Queen. Um, I've seen this. This looks cool. Straight up, this looks cool. It's very nice. I like what they did with it. They got the theme, and they got the rider weight, and they chased after it. And it looks really good. This looks really good. They really sort of made their own path within the rider weight, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Coming out in December, in December, and if you want a deck, it's only $32, $32. Great artwork, very inspired. It looks like just a ton of fun. It looks like something that is just gonna be highly unusual and entertaining, and I like it. I like it, the Drag Race Tarot. Definitely something to pick up and get that pre-order in now. It's coming out very soon. Tarot Yoga Mats. You know, I'm not really sure about that. I am sure about the Gentle Tarot, which I already pre-ordered. With 361 backers, you can't really go wrong. Looks great. Look what they did with it. It is a collage. Wow, that is an ugly tarot cloth. On a scale of 1 to 10 for ugliness, I'm going to go with a 9.5. That they really, you know, not getting the cloth, I can tell you that. But um, the deck, though, the deck, though, looks nice. It looks really nice. I love this artwork. They, it is a collage. But it's a collage with style. It is. I think that they put their own unique spin on it. I think it looks fantastic. Definitely something that I'm personally picking up. So it looks really good. It looks really good. And I like how they, um, there's the majors and here are the minors. We got some decent looking minors. They did some pretty good work on it. A little bit uninspired with the nine and the eight. I'm willing to give it a pass. I'm willing to give it a pass. The cups look fantastic. It just looks good. This looks good. There's a good reason that there are 361 people that want it. I'm one of them. Courts Align Fantasy Tarot. You just kind of wonder, this is a, you know, this is a, a collab deck. Only 23 people. I'm not sure if it's going to get funded. I really wish they had more previews because I like this style. It looks kind of like the Weird Works Adventures Tarot. I like it. I want to see just how varied the collaboration is before I commit. I did go check out all their social media. Still not sure what it looks like because there's absolutely nothing there. I really wish they would give me some more stuff to do, stuff to wander out and check it out. Um, in the meantime, we can look at the Bone Tarot. Another one with a dark background and lines. Lots and lots of lines. I'm not a fan. They're so, the, the market is so oversaturated right now for these types of decks, in my opinion. Not a big fan. The Lunaria Tarot, though, 
the Lunaria Tarot is, you know, cool. It's cool. Not something that I would back, but I do think that uh, they did a pretty good job with this. So if you're interested in this, go check out the Lunaria Tarot. Um, this one I just absolutely love, and so does everybody else, except for the price. Now, 319 people love this, and, you know, Kickstarter flagged it as a project that we love, and it looks great. It's so cute. Uh, I really enjoy it. My only regret for looking at this is just how damned expensive it is. If you want to get the deck, it will cost you $61 plus shipping. It ended up costing me 80 bucks. That hurts. That hurts. I could go pick up a outrageously expensive Baba Studio deck for that price. So if you're trying to rope me in, if you're trying to romance me, if you're trying to lure me in, you're not doing a good job with a deck this damn expensive. I'm just saying, that's a lot. That's a lot. Unless it's made out of gold or something. I mean, okay, you got a hard box. That's fine. We got gold stamping on the back. That's fine. Rigid box. You got 180 mini guidebook, 180 page mini guidebook. You got uh, 350 GSM. You're talking me into it, but that is so freaking expensive. Man, I love the bookmarks. But yeah, just the price. Normally, I would just hit checkout and not even look back. If you had priced that like 40 bucks, I would have 45 bucks, I would have just hit checkout, not even look back and think about it. Um, you know, the winter wait was one of the biggest. We're on to, by the way, Indiegogo, in case you didn't see the top left over here where it says Indiegogo. The winter wait was one of the biggest, biggest uh, campaigns I have seen in a long time. They got a ton of support for this. Now we got Santa's little helpers on the winter wait. Definitely something I'm picking up. Definitely something I'm picking up. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you can get the winter wait uh, with the winter wait with Santa's helper. I'm not really sure. If you can, I guess we, we can, maybe. I don't know. I got to look at it. I don't see it. But, yeah, that's going to be a big, big thing. Guardian of the Night is still around. It's been around forever. 2020 Visions is back. They were on Kickstarter. Now they're on Indiegogo. The Gift of Life, which also, I think, crapped out on Kickstarter, is now on Indiegogo, if you are so inclined. Tarot in Space. Uh, Dr. Mystical has this. I believe. Uh, so if you're looking for that, go check out Dr. Mystical's Broken B Word Tarot Training Deck and Guardian of Eden Black Zodiac. It is only a Major's deck. Wisdom of the Unknown is still trying to swim. They're chill, still trying to get their head above water because they have failed over and over and over and over. They're still trying and looking still challenging. Looking challenged still. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this news program. Get your pre-orders out. Get your pre-orders in for any of this fun stuff. Thank you for watching, and it's time for the Patreon spam. And the rumors are true. Did you know I had a Patreon? A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. What do you get, you ask? By the way, 51 patrons. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for all of your support. Everybody on screen is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, and thank you again. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. I greatly appreciate that. Now, why are they there, you ask? Well, you get all the handouts. You get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets, you get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths. 
are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to four to five hours you can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step by step, nice slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that was like a three-hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, cause look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic, and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.